Myanmar, infamous for its handling of the Rohingya crisis, trafficking, illicit drug production and a domineering military. These were probably the first thoughts in your head when you heard us say Myanmar. But have you ever thought of taking a closer look at this seemingly hopeless country with a terrible reputation? Myanmar, formerly known as Burma, is a nation located in Southeast Asia. It shares borders with India, Bangladesh, Thailand and Laos and is home to more than 100 different ethnic groups. Under its 2008 constitution, drafted by the then junta, Myanmar has a multi-party democratic system, but substantial political power still rests with the military. There are two legislative chambers, the 440-seat People's Assembly, or the Lower House, and the 224-seat Nationalities Assembly, the Upper House. In both houses, 25% of the seats are reserved for the army, while the rest are directly elected. Currently, the National League for the Democracy, or NLD, holds 254 seats in the 440-seat lower house, thus holding the majority. There are more than 135 different ethnic groups in Burma, each with its own history, culture and language. The majority Burman or Bamar ethnic group, which is Buddhist, makes up about two-thirds of the population and controls the military and the government. While Myanmar officially recognizes 135 ethnic groups, one group known as the Rohingyas have been rendered stateless and stripped of their citizenship. The Rohingya are often said to be the world's most persecuted minority. They are an ethnic Muslim group in the majority Buddhist country. They hail from the country's northwest and speak a Bengali dialect. Almost all live in Rakhine, one of the poorest states with a population of 3 million. The Rohingya Muslims of the Rakhine state have been fleeing Myanmar for decades. However, since 2015, hundreds of thousands of Rohingya have sought out refuge in neighbouring nations such as Bangladesh, Thailand and Malaysia. The reason for this is the persecution of the Rohingya people by the Tatmadaw or Myanmar military. After the killings of nine border police officers in October 2016 by the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army and due to the formation of Rohingya militant groups partaking in insurgency, the Tatma Dao launched a military crackdown against the Rohingya people, murdering and driving out even civilians. Satellite images show that many Rohingya villages have been burned down and international authorities term this operation as one aimed at ethnic cleansing and mass genocide. When questioned about this, leader of the National League for Democracy and the de facto head of state Aung San Suu Kyi said that Myanmar does not fear international scrutiny and is committed to a sustainable solution which will lead to peace, stability and development within all communities within the Rakhine state. Currently, the involved nations are working towards a solution to this issue, including a repatriation scheme which would give a national verification card to returning Rohingyas and allow them to attain legal immunity and documentation. Burma is the world's third largest producer of illicit opium and a source of heroin. Burma is also a source country for men, women and children trafficked for the purpose of forced labour. Burma does not fully comply with the minimum standards for the elimination of trafficking but is making significant efforts to do so. But beneath these ugly truths lies a nation brimming with culture and beauty, with an amazing story to tell and diversity to the tipping point. Whatever Myanmar does or becomes next, it is sure to be interesting. All we have to do is sit back and watch.